Hey everybody, it's time for Legal Help Live. It is uh, City TV Channel 16. You're watching, if you're watching Santa Monica, it's LA 36. If you're watching us from Los Angeles, and my name is Ralph. That is my partner for a really, really long time. His name is Steve. We're here to answer your calls. Call us at 1-800-405-4222. And our engineers say we've got a line of people ready to talk to us right now. So let's go to the phones right now. How about that? Hello? Got a caller? Caller, come on in. Hi. Hey, Susie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Susie, why, where are you calling from? Santa Monica. And what can we do for you? Okay, I have a question. Um, so I went to a friend's birthday party. Yeah, the old we friend, huh? Okay. <laughs> and we went to a restaurant. And uh, everything was fine. It was nice. Um, good food and everything. And then, you know, we all left, had a great night. And then that night, my boyfriend said he didn't feel well. And he just had, I, don't know, I think he had a salad. He had some sort of salad. It was, I don't know if it was a house salad or a Caesar salad or something, but he had a salad. So anyways, he starts feeling really sick after a while. And then, it, and you know, I'm thinking, oh, I just ate too much. Well, then it got really, really bad, and I had to take him to the hospital, and they had to put an IV in his arm. He didn't get any prescription medicine, but they had an IV in his arm, like, for fluid or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, getting, really he was sure getting dehydrated, what I guess. put in, but yeah, yeah. Do I, hey, listen to Dr. Ralph there. Yeah, okay. I, I'm uh, licensed not to practice medicine. So then what happened? <laughs> Probably didn't so practice then, much. So he had to he had to miss work, and we're thinking, wow, this is this is so weird, you know. And then I talked to a girlfriend of mine who was at the party, and she said she had the same thing. I didn't know this, of course, when we went to the hospital, but a couple of days later, I found out that she had the exact same symptoms, same problems. It was really bad. And then I asked her what she had, and she had the same salad that my boyfriend did. Oh, oh, so this is the case of the expensive Caesar salad. And whether yeah. or not you can recover. And a little food well, poisoning, it sounds I like. I mean, he, we had to go to the hospital. He missed two days of work. Okay. And he doesn't even feel like, I mean, he, I mean, it, it just seems like too big of a coincidence. Like, it was the restaurant's fault. Okay. And I'm wondering, I haven't done anything, but I'm wondering if there's anything I can do. It, it, that, that, restaurants are liable if they are careless in the preparation of food, uh, if they give food that's unsafe out there and you uh, and you get hurt or injured, it's apparent that he was injured. It's apparent that he suffered some damages. There's apparent that he had medical bills, lost wages, emotional stress. So it's got all the elements of uh, a problem, and especially there was more than, you know, one person. There are two people. Uh, most of these places have some kind of insurance. The first thing I would do is uh, is contact the company in writing and indicate uh, to them that uh, that he was injured and hurt, et cetera, et cetera, and and make sure that he goes to the doctor and he's t totally recovered, and see if you can negotiate some kind of a settlement in this case. Uh, if he if he has a perfect recovery, uh, he doesn't have any long term disability, you know, and it was food poison, you know, they'll pay you something. The case could be worth, you know. Fifteen hundred dollars to five thousand dollars. That, that sounds about um, right, right range. It, We're talking about hospitals. Does it matter that I, this happened um, a total of five days ago? Does it matter that so much time has passed? No, you got a oh. two-year statute of limitations, generally to file suit, get the letter off today, uh, and and in your friend, the other person who was uh, injured should also do it. Uh, at at some point, they're either going to offer you a reasonable settlement. Assuming he doesn't have any more damages, this is a kind of case th that you can uh, file in small claims court where the maximum recovery would be $7,500. Um, and you should be able to prevail in this kind of case. If the, if the injuries are much more serious, then you're going to need to file a, see a lawyer to file a lawsuit. But you're not supposed to go into restaurants, eat the Caesar salad, and come out and, and get food poisoning. They did something wrong. They controlled it. Um, and this is one of those things that doesn't happen. 
unless they did something wrong. You know, it's possible uh, other people uh, uh, got sick as well, not just your boyfriend and, and, and your other friend. But, but you have an obligation, or your boyfriend has an obligation to protect himself. He's got rights, but he's got to protect those rights. Same thing for your girlfriend. And I would start, I agree with my partner, I would start pursuing that right now. But I'd also get a hold of the LA County Health Department and turn them in so that they can go and do a health inspection of the place. And you might find out there's all kinds of violations and other people being hurt. The LA County Health Department is online. You can just pick, you can Google them and, and uh, get their phone number and then you can make a complaint to them and they'll do some kind of investigative uh, checking them out to make sure that the place isn't full of vermin, rats, and everything else in there. Should oh, we absolutely. write the letter together or should we write separate letters? They should be two separate letters. Separate. You can read them before they go out, but they should be separate, each one pertaining to the, to the, to the one person. And you should send it to them so you get a receipt for it, one of those, you know, go through the post office, and you should keep a copy of the letter. And you should give them a reasonable time. If they don't respond, then I'd follow small claims. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to actually put how much time you're giving them to respond in the letter. For example, please respond within 10 days of the date of this letter, for example. But don't go back there. Yeah. yeah no. I mean, we had a bunch of, we've had cases where, uh, you know, companies have sold uh, bad cheese and, and horrible those injuries are, are and, tough. And, and, and miscarriages, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but, you know, don't go back there. Don't order the stuff. And remember, maybe you shouldn't even order a Caesar salad any place anymore. But oh, that, Lord. that's up to you. Oh, I think he's, uh, yeah, I think my boyfriend is, is just, it's ruined for him. I don't think he can look at another salad. Well, those, 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 little, because... those little squimmy anchovies probably got him, you know? <laughs> could, could be you know, anything like that. Eat what the regular people eat. Steak, yeah. potatoes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Susie, thank you for calling Legal Help Live. Interesting call. Not an unusual problem either. 1-800-405-4222. And we're going to buzz out to uh, North Hollywood and let's talk to Jennifer. Jen? Hey, Jen, it's uh, Ralph and Steve. Hello, I can, hear you. I, can hear you. I can hear you breathing heavily. Welcome Hi, to Legal Steve. Help Live. You can talk now. You're on TV. Okay, yes. this is Jean. My name is Jean, not Jennifer. Oh. I didn't think you yeah. were talking to me. See? Oh, I am so people. sorry. I was living in what I thought was a rent-controlled apartment built before 1974, I believe it was. I did all the legwork on it, hired an attorney. Well, let me go back. This yeah, is I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm where hired, you're going. And I hired an attorney to file the lawsuit. The guy, the, I got a new owner who raised the rent like 160 bucks um, without 30-day notice. But this is in I Los Angeles. Right, documented everything, hired an attorney, and he never filed the lawsuit. He's a bozo. And he ended up becoming evicted. So my question is, how long before can I go after him? Number one. Maybe. Uh, when did yeah, this? When did this happen? Would have owed me like about seven thousand dollars. The guy was. Um, Gene, I, I think Gene, owner. we, we have to do this in a. Gene, Gene, take, take it, take a deep stop, breath. Stop, stop, slow, stop, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. We want okay, to do this sorry. in a. We're going to get to the bottom of the issue, and maybe we'll be able to help you, but we need to do this in a question and answer so that you can fill us in with the basic information that we okay, need in work. order to formulate what we're going to tell you. So, okay. you now, firstly, what year did this happen? This happened, I moved out in the uh, mid-2005. Okay, 2005. Right, and, and I lived there for 11 years. And where, 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 where was it that you were living for a living? It was in North Hollywood in Los Angeles County. Okay. okay. Well, is it and LA? Wait, LA City? City of LA? Uh, yes. It was oh. North Hollywood City, but it was part of LA County. And when I first moved in, I got a, a certificate of occupancy or a filing with the reg registration people. That, you know, they, they billed me for filing with reg um, registration rent and said that it was under rent control. Okay, so you thought you were living in rent control. It yes. turned out later on that you were living in rent control. Well, the, the I don't know because I went to the tax assessor's office and the only file missing for 1974 was my address. Yeah, but they have to register 